Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. This is going to be a brief presentation. I actually wanted to experiment with QuickTime's screen record feature, so I thought I would just jump on and answer a question I receive every so often. Is there a place online to find federal grants? And yes, there is. Conveniently enough, it is at grants.gov. So if you just bounce over to that website, this is what the homepage looks like. Looks like, And um, go down to Search Grants. That's the way I do it. Just click that. And, uh, uh, okay, eventually. <laughs> the screen pops up. All right, so you're then presented with this page here. Now what I do, I check grants.gov every day. So... I try to refine my search. You'll see over here under opportunity status, there's a whole bunch of whole bunch of stuff going on over here. You can look for grants that are posted or ones that are forecasted to come up pretty soon. And then of course you can look at closed or archived grants. Forecasted and posted. Uh, those are the most popular. I I'm just interested in ones that showed up today. So I'm gonna get rid of forecasted. And I focus on cooperative agreements and grants. Cooperative agreements are just are very, very similar to grants. They're almost the same thing. They just have uh, substantial, quote-unquote, substantial federal involvement, which is not that big of a deal. Anyway, so then I go over here, and you can search on the date range. So I just want to look at the last three days because, I, like I said, I check it every day. Anyway, so update date range. Now, here are all, let's see, today's the 13th. So here are all the grants that posted today. You can see that here in this column. Sorry, I'm using a different mouse and a kind of an oddball mouse pad, and my pointer is going all over the place. Anyway, you can see the agency that is providing the funds. Each agency has its own little three-digit code. So you have Department of Defense, Health and Human Services, uh, Department of Justice. Yeah, that's a little more than three three digits. Anyway, uh, Interior, Defense. Mm, crap, I don't remember what PAMS is. Anyway, okay. And so if you are interested in a particular grant... You, so let's say we want to look at this Tribal Sexual Assault Services Program grant. You go over and click on the grant number. This page here gives you all the information you need. When the grant posted, what the deadline is, uh, how many number of awards they anticipate making, what type of funding is available eligibility the agency that is putting out the funds here and I'll come back I'll come back to this if you want to look at uh, previous versions if there are any you can click on version history this right here is the most recent any related documents will be here if you want to download the application package you can do that here. Everything's on workspace now, so that's good. Click here. This shows you all the different forms that have to be completed. You can download some supplemental instructions. When you are ready to apply, click on Apply. And then you log into your workspace account. And off you go. Now, let's back up. Ah, crap. Hold on. I'm doing this on the fly with no editing, so you are getting all of my raw screw-ups. <laughs> um, all right. And since this is an experiment, I am not attempting at all to be professional. Okay, so now if you really want a lot more information, and I encourage you to... Do that with all the grants that you apply for. 
click on that link for more info and it takes you to the full all the full instructions every every agency formats their instructions a little differently so what you see here is not going to be the standard but uh, they all have essentially the same information they're required by uh, by regulations to provide certain information to applicants so that's that's all going to be the same they just tend to format it a little differently by department okay I know I'm doing scrolling just to to amuse myself hope it's not giving anyone motion sickness all right let me uh, click out of there so that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell if you have questions they give you a contact person uh, what else and if you're really really new so that's how you find the grants but if you're really really new grants.gov I know a lot of people make you know they make knocks against the federal government for being inefficient and slow but I'll tell you one thing and I've done this a long time one thing the feds do very well is this grants.gov where you can find grants and apply for them uh, the staff is very helpful they're actually very responsive on Twitter uh, I've never had to email them but they have a lot of a lot of tutorial videos a lot of instructions as you can see here uh, they really want to make it as user-friendly as they can <clears throat> and excuse me uh, they have again a bunch of videos here on how to set up your account how to apply for the grants I mean everything you really need if you want to do it yourself and the, <laughs> and they're obviously their videos are going to be a lot more professional than this one um, and rightfully so. I'm just kind of screwing around here. So anyway, that's going to do it for me. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at thegrantdoctors.com uh, or you can get me on social media at The Grant Doctors on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat. Uh, my name is Dave and uh, hope to hear from you soon. If you enjoyed this little video, uh, go ahead and like it or leave a comment. You can say it's awesome or you can say it stunk. Either way, it's not going to hurt my feelings if you didn't like it. That's cool. Uh, okay, that's all I got. Thanks. Bye.